Go. Hello guys, Mr. Austin 1990 here, it's episode number 16 of the Random Hybrid. For today's episode, we're going to be using none other than Inform Lozano. Lozano, something like that, he is Mexican, he looks absolutely unreal, he's got 95 pace, not going to lie to you. Pace is huge. If you could start things off by smashing the like button, if we can hit... 121 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. The likes on the series have dropped a little bit over the past couple of days. I don't know as to whether you are just not enjoying the series too much or whether or not it's not going in your sub boxes. I have no friggin' idea, but hopefully you're still liking it and enjoying it. I'm committed to doing this series, like I said, for at least 100 episodes this year. We're already on episode 16, which smashes our total for last year. You guys requested it coming back, and I didn't let you down. I'm committed to doing YouTube, even if I don't get the views or the likes. But if you guys can just help out a little bit by smashing the like button, even if you don't normally do that, that would be really appreciated. And thank you in advance for that. So we're going to start things off today by looking for a defender and a midfielder. Lozano is a right winger. He was a left winger. But let's get into it. Um, page 1, player 6. He's in the Eredivisie, so it's a bad league. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is actually Samedo. Um Good player. Good player. Yeah, we'll use Samedo. Oh, we don't have a choice. We're going to have to use Samedo. But we'll go for midfielder now. One and six for midfielder. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Just look at the border, guys. Just look at the border a second and look at the team. Huddersfield. Fair play to him. You got, sometimes you just got to say fair play. They beat Man United, which is nice-ish. I'm not really too sure who I... I think I hate Man United more. I genuinely do think I hate Man United more. But it's too close. Um, but... Yeah, Aaron Moy actually is an unbelievable card on the game. You can't deny that. Look at his stats. Wow. Okay. Aaron Moy, Samedo, Lozano. Wow. Let's go make a hybrid around them three. Difficult, difficult, but we'll do it. Let's go. Okay, so over the score screen, there is Lozano, as I said. 94 pace. I thought he had 95. 85 dribbling. He's got a really nice card for a pretty cheap player. As you can see, some of his stats are incredible. He's not, he's not a strength player. But I think he's only 5. He's 5'9". Five he's not tiny, but he's not huge. Uh, in fact, he's quite small. Um, good all-round stats. Looking forward to using him. The other two players we got, if you've forgotten already. Luckily, I haven't. Aaron Moy. Deep. This D-pad lag is it's, it's worse on PlayStation. I'm on the Xbox currently. It's really bad on the PlayStation, where I've been doing my Road to Glory series on. And, um, yeah, it's mental bad. We have got a Samedo in the club. I think he's got an untradeable one. Some of these player faces have changed on these Barcelona and whatnot players. I've noticed that. I think it was the update. Um, but there are the three players we've got to do a team around. So this is pretty crazy, this team. Not too sure what formation to go for, really. If I went for something like this... Oh, we could want Aaron Moy. What, what work rates has Aaron got? Aaron Moy. Medium, medium. You, you could play him anywhere, really, couldn't you? You could play him as an attacking-minded player, defensive-minded player. He genuinely is one of the most all-rounded cards in the game. Definitely, in the Premier League, sorry. Because um, there is a Mexican striker in the Premier League, of course, in Chicharito. Who we could link Aaron Moy with them. But then you've got to think of the Semedo one here is a little bit of an annoying one. So I think I might go for the 4 3 3 It's got to have a winger in it, so we need to do some sort of 4 3 3 Um Hmm... 4-3-3. Flat 4-3-3. Four, three, three. A 4-3-3 four, three, three like that could be usable. 4-3-3-4. Four, three, three, four. Uh, I'm going to try this one. 4-3-3-3. Three, three, three. Okay. Um, the striker I'm going to go for, if I'm not mistaken, there is a really good striker in the area of the... Or not really... Well, actually, I think he could be really good. I was looking at him before the video. If he didn't play for PSV, I might be wrong. No, he does. This guy right here. He's got himself an in form, and I was looking at him the other day. His in-game stats to me look really nice. For an 81 rated, you've got to consider. He's got 90, sorry, 86 strength, 95 shot power. He's an absolute monster. Six foot one. We're going to give him a go. He's an in form, and he links nicely with, of course, Lozano, who now doesn't need any more chemistry. That guy does need some chemistry, the guy in... Um, there. So what we can do, is there a Dutch left winger in the Premier League? I know there used to be Memphis to pie, but I genuinely can't remember if there's another one. Okay. Um, he looked god awful. He could be one of the worst cards I've seen. Unbelievably, as a Huddersfield guy. Van Lepara. That's pretty crazy. Can't really want to use another Huddersfield player. 
Um, sometimes in life, it tickles you. Actually, there might be a Dutch centre mid in the Premier League. There is, in fact, in... Oh, my God. No, this is going to work nicely. We've got Leroy Fur and then Renato Sanchez. This has worked out. I just thought of it just literally in the top of my head then. Renato Sanchez, links with Leroy Fur, links with Semedo. Boom, boom, boom. That's exactly what we want. This team's linked together nicely already. Leroy Fur, nice player. Really nice card, actually. If you look at him. Um, again, stats across the board, really nice. If he ever gets an inform, wow. Renato Sanchez, again, another one. Stats across the board, very, very good. Used him a fair amount as well. He's a very good player. So that's them three linking together quite nicely. Now, the left mid is an interesting one because you've got a Premier League midfield now. I'm kind of inclined to go back to the Eredivisie. Eredivisie, is that how you say it? And see what they've got left winger. It could either be a PSV player or a Dutch Eredivisie left winger. I've definitely passed it, haven't I, yet? Yeah. Scroll past the bugger. Where is it? Eredivisie, that one there. So left winger, let's just see what they got. I know they've got Lozano, but we've already used him. He's there. Uh, we can't use any of them. We could use this guy. He links with from being the Dutch. Kishner is actually a five-star skiller, is he not? Ooh, interesting. Not got the best stats at all. 66 shooting is a bit worrying. Uh, we could use an icon over here if we're desperate. Uh, going a little bit low now. We'll have a look at the left mid. I'm interested in using Kishner at this moment in time, but what else have they got? Again, Asaid is another five-star skiller. He doesn't link the team, though, because he, he isn't Dutch, nor does he play for PSV. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use Kishner. A five-star skiller who we haven't used yet. We could have used this guy right here. He probably is the better all-round player. He's got good shooting. But Kishner being five-star skills, and we have him. He's a non-rare as well. He'll go into the team. So the Leroy Fur to the striker link isn't actually needed anymore, but we'll still use it because, well, why not? Leroy Fur gets in the team. So where we go now is the interesting side of things. So Aaron Moy does need some chemistry. So unfortunately... We may actually have to use another Huddersfield player. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they do have a good centre-back. But we'll have a look at avoiding the option first by looking for... He's Australian, isn't he? Australian, yeah. Actually, isn't there another Australian centre-back in the Premier League? No, he's New Zealand. Um... Is he New Zealand? Austra I always get Australian and New Ge Zealand badges mixed up. I don't know why, but I just do. There is a left back in Smith. That's pretty shit though, unfortunately. And there is Good from Newcastle, who again doesn't look great. So if we have a little quick look at what Huddersfield have got to offer in the um, left back side of things. Or maybe send back. We'll have a look. We may have to use one too many Premier League players here. They've got two pretty average ones. Um, or centre back, they've got yeah. See, Jorgensen's the guy I was looking at. He's not too shabby at all. And the rest of them are pretty shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he. I'm pretty sure he went up front and scored against Leeds last season. I'm pretty sure that was him. Um, which is a shithole. But anyway, I'm getting a little bit lost here now with the defensive side of things. I don't want to use too many Premier League players. So I'm thinking about maybe using a Premier League left winger, and then we can clear the defence. So, sorry, Kishi. Kishner, you're in there for a second. Um, so Aaron, my boy, Moy. Aaron, my boy, Moy. So if we was to use any... No, we literally have to use a Huddersfield one, though, don't we? See, that's the ball ache. What else have Huddersfield got on the wing? Have they just got Van Lepara? Bit of a shame if they have. Yeah, they've not got very good wingers, unfortunately. Van Lepara, we don't want to use him. Um, hmm... Remember, Semedo needs another chemistry link. We can't forget about him. Renato Sanchez. Let's just work on this side a sec. Because if I was to go for a Portuguese centre-back from Portugal, of course. Well, not necessarily from Portugal. Just a Portuguese centre-back. So we could even do Pepe. He's got himself a new picture. Uh, font. See, this guy's quite good. I'm using him in my Road to Glory series. A really solid centre-back, actually. Uh, and, of course, he does link with Semedo from being from that league. But... That's the kind of iffy thing. Hmm. Aaron, your boy, Moy. Could go with him. Pepe's picture's a little bit different, isn't it? My god. Um, we'll go with this guy. He's a non-rare again. We'll use him. We'll whack in the guy we had originally in Kishner. Um, 
Is it called Kish? Kish? Kishna. Kishna. There we go. My club. We've got him. We know that. There he is. So, unfortunately, this hybrid's not going to be the craziest, which is a bit of a shame, because what we're going to have to do now is basically go with the Premier League lot, and we do need a Huddersfield player. So, we're going to sacrifice our left back for the Huddersfield player, and we're going to go for this low guy. He doesn't look terrible. He, well, he does, actually, for a left back. He doesn't look great at all. Um, and then what we could do here... This is where it becomes interesting. Portuguese Premier League centre back. I know there is one, but it's Font. He's god awful. He's god awful. One, two, three, four, five. That would give us one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five Premier League players and five Portuguese players. We could go with a Portuguese goalkeeper. Um. Right, all we're going to do instead is we're going to go for a German centre-back in the Premier League. We're going to go ahead and use... Christ. I just feel I've got a few of them. We're going to go ahead and use... Um... We'll use Mustafi because we used Rudiger most recently. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we can get away with a German goalkeeper in the BBVA or the Spanish First League, which is Ter Stegen. He's got himself an inform. Is that this week? We'll just use his regular car. Still on a fork out mega coins on the goalkeeper. I think that's what we're going to go with. Let's just double I've got to triple check everything now because I made the mistake of putting a seven chemistry navigator in one of the episodes the other day. Um, yeah, everyone's going to get full chem because Aaron Moy will be when he gets a CDM card or a manager, depending on which we go for. So that team does look really, really strange. I like it, though. I like the way that team's look gone together. And we could have definitely done a different kind of formation, but as soon as I got Lozano in, I had to play him as an attacking mind. I couldn't rock him as like a right mid. And I really wanted to try this guy out after seeing it earlier on in the week. It's got like a, is that a neck tattoo? I'm not really too sure, but then he looks, he looks crazy, doesn't he? He's probably going to be crap in game. But we're going to give him a go. So that is the team. I'm going to go buy a couple of players now. And I'll be right back when I've done that. So I'll see you in two. Let's go. Oh, okay, so we've finished the team. And here it is in all of its glory. Three informs to be precise. Looking forward to using this one. If you forgot the players we had to use, it was Aaron Moy. It was the right back Samedo. And it was, of course, a feature player, Lozano. I'm looking forward to using a lot. This inform striker cost me 17k. And if you look at him again, some of the stats, I'm really looking forward to giving him a go for damn sure. 81 rates, not expecting craziness. The left back is there for chemistry reasons. Um, we did need that chemistry to link with Aaron Moy, unfortunately. We could have gone for Brad Smith, I think it was, who's a Australian left back. But to get the better defender in, the better goalkeeper, I've gone for that route. But if you think you can make a better team, please let me know in the conversation section below by smashing... Or well, put it in the comments, basically. But while you're down there, hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can see my videos in your timeline and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. But anyway, let's get into this. Hopefully, we can do a little bit of skillage. A little bit of lag at the moment with my... I don't know if it's my internet. Or hopefully, it's not my internet. But a lot of lag happening for me at the moment, which is a shame. But the team does look really cool. Looking forward to using it, like I said before. So, we'll go find ourselves an opponent and we'll go spank it. Boom! Right? Okay, so we found ourselves our opponent and he has got... Oh, damn. He's got himself a 3-4-3 Premier League team. That's a good team, actually. Hyun Min Sun up front. He's got Raheem Sterling. Lalana's got a new picture. That's a little bit crazy. Um, good defence as well. No one out of position. Well, apart from Sun up front, but that isn't even out of position, is it, these days? Because I rock him up front as well. Holy shit, no! It's freaking game on. I've got all blurry. Hello? There we go. Can, uh, Let's go. Exploit the three at the back of our three up front. We've got a chance already because the big guy's free on goal. The big man. The big guy. He's in. The big man slots it in. Two minutes. And we got ourselves a Lociada. Lociada? Not too sure how to say his name, but you know the celebration. Boom. Get in. 1 0. Early doors. Just right, Jack Butlin, with your bloody mud on your knee already. Get in. 1 0. I knew he would be alright. And I'm proven correctly. Lozano's picked up the ball. Let's see if he's rapid. Off he goes against Arnautovic. He's going to skin him every day of the week. And Lozano's gone. And Lozano in the box. He's still got it? No, Arnautovic got... Oh! Oh my god! It's not gone in! How... That would have been absolutely crazy. I didn't even want to score that goal, to be honest. Well, I didn't, but I would have took it. Dear god. Right, come on. Okay, that's an extremely well. Can you feed Ronaldo Sanchez? Boro. Oh, that'll do. Went for a Boro. Got a little bit of love in. Ronaldo Sanchez! Boom! It's probably the worst hit shot out of the last couple I've done. And Ronaldo Sanchez, hair flying. 
does the freaking celebration of dreams. Get in 2-0. This team is flowing together really nicely. This guy's formation is a bit of a problem. When he's attacking me, it's a threat. When I'm attacking him, it's another threat because it's literally three on three and I've got the raw pace. It's just working trumps at this moment in time, but it can all go sour. Uh, it's the worst corner I've ever seen. And off goes Sanchez at pace. Oh, whoever's trying to catch up with him, see you later. And there goes Sanchez again. He's got to spread this over. Oh, Lozano, if he could bring it down. Oh, good touch. Lozano's in on goal. Lozano! This time puts it away. Lozano, baby. Well, that's not a celebration I wanted to see, but get in. 3-0. This team is just working wonders at this moment in time. He missed a chance earlier on in the game by hitting the post in a similar situation. But damn, he finished this one for damn sure. 3-0. Get in. Here's Lozano. Lovely from Lozano. He's got pace to burn. We know that. And off he plods. Lozano. Oh, it's delightful. Lozano! Yes! What a player. And that could be the end of Fittest Seller 10. That could be enough for him. Let's do the cheeky celebration. He's he's requested to pause it. Pause queued. <gasps> Dear Lord. This could be bye-bye. This could be bye-bye. Let's give him a wave, guys. Bye-bye. No? This is awkward. This happened a few times now. Seriously, no? No? If I wait like this? Like this? Like this? No? Okay. Moy. Fur. And here goes Moy. Back to Fur. Back to Moy. And they're walking up the pitch. And Aaron Moy has seen the gap. Aaron Moy. See if he can hit them. Aaron Moy! Oh, just why? That was close. That was definitely close. Lakeda almost got the ball back but couldn't get it quite under his spell. Come here! Yes, Leroy. It's falling right to Lalana though! Oh, nice goal. We know Lalana can hit them. That's a beautiful goal, in fact. It fell right to him, which is a shame. And we would like to have kept the clean sheet, but... Fair play. Good goal. Top bins. Left peg. Five star weak foot I think Lalana does have. Which is handy, of course, in the midfield position. That's a banger. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's on the comeback, because... No, thank you! But we'll soldier on, and we'll try and score one more. One more. Come on, let's go. Oh. Mohamed Salah finds space. Oh, but Samedo just says, hell no, and shuts up shop. Here's Kishna. Let's go wide again, because Lozano's making that run. He stopped a little bit that time. And it's going to mean the goalkeeper has a chance to get there. Look how much pace he's got, though. He literally runs for shit. We're going to try and lob him this time. Lozano! Yes! It's a lob for the hat-trick. Get in! Terrible goalkeeping. This guy's had an absolute mare. What a hat-trick as a featured player. Is not a bad thing at all. Look at the Minecraft sheep and crazy frog. There he is. My hand movement's crazy. Crazy frog. Sheep. Go on your screen. Boom! Get in. 5 1. Game set. And titties. And the but that looks like it's the end of the game. Woo! Get in. Another game, another win. Lozano picks up the match ball. Seven shots, three goals. He hit the post. He missed a sitter, I won't lie to you, but he did manage to score a hat-trick still. Massive threat, all game, raw pace, great dribbling, great skill moves, and also really good on the old shooting aspect. So we'll see how it all went down, but I recommend go and buy that bitch, because he is beautiful. Boom, say the full-time stats, and as you can see, we did dominate the game. He did come back into a little bit more second half, he got his goal, which is a little bit annoying. It fell kindly to Lalana, but we played some really good stuff today. The formation suited my style of play. It had three attackers where we, well, we needed them against his three defenders. We just dominated that aspect. Lozano was just absolutely incredible. The striker started off really well. As the game went on, he looked more and more sluggish on the ball and was a little bit less of a threat. But Kishner was decent. Aaron Moy was really fun to use. As was Leroy Fur. Renato Sanchez is always a joy. The defense was pretty decent actually the guy the left back guy low from Huddersfield he made some really good challenges so fair play to him but that is the end of this episode guys if you have enjoyed it a like would be absolutely fantastic see if you can nail 200 likes I've changed my mind and go out and buy Lozano he's only about 20 30k definitely in your price range I'm looking to pick him up maybe in the road to glory hope you enjoyed like I said subscribe if you're new catch you next time and bye bye there's Lozano titties titties fucking get in another win Another win, guys. Wins means likes. Likes means wins. Likes means everything. 